The ocean terror, the death of the seas, is what we often refer to as the great white shark. They are considered the top predatory fish in the animal kingdom and an endless topic in horror movies. The image of a giant fish nearly five meters long with sharp teeth ready to turn any living creature in its sights into two pieces has likely haunted many people. And what if its size were multiplied by two or three times? We would have the Megalodon, the largest shark ever to exist in Earth's history. Welcome back to Earth Science TV. Before we start, don't forget to hit the like button to help us reach 70 likes for this video. Megalodon is a gigantic extinct shark species that lived during the Miocene era, from 23 to 3.6 million years ago. It was once considered a member of the Lamnidae family and the closest relative of the great white shark. However, transitional fossils discovered have shown that Megalodon was the last species of large sharks with evolutionary origins in the Paleocene period. Although considered one of the largest and most powerful predators ever to live, the Megalodon is now only known from remaining fossil fragments. Its appearance and maximum size have not been fully proven. Scientists are still debating whether it was a larger giant version of the great white shark, the basking shark, or the bull shark. Most size estimates of the Megalodon are extrapolated from its teeth, with a maximum length estimated to be up to 14 to 20.3 meters, and an average length estimated at 10.5 meters. Estimates suggest a megalodon about 16 meters long weighing up to 48 tons, 17 meters long weighing up to 59 tons, and 20.3 meters long weighing up to 103 tons. Its thick and sturdy teeth were designed to catch prey and break bones. Its wide jaws could generate a bite force of up to 40,000 psi. By comparison, the bite force of a great white shark is only 4,100 psi, or a T-Rex dinosaur is approximately 12,800 psi. Additionally, the megalodon could swim terrifyingly fast, with an average speed faster than today's sharks, and could migrate across many oceans easily. According to research groups, the megalodon's calculated speed could reach 70 km h. Megalodon is also thought to have given birth to its young near the shore. These shallow coastal waters would be a place to protect the young, helping them stay away from predators lurking in murky waters like larger predatory whales. When ice formed at the poles and sea levels dropped, these rocky beaches would be destroyed. Megalodon likely had a significant impact on the structure of marine communities. Fossil records indicate it was distributed worldwide. It could attack prey such as crustaceans and sea turtles. Megalodon may have used its strong jaws to pierce the ribcage and puncture the heart and lungs of its prey. This species had to face competition from large predatory cetaceans such as Liviatun, other predatory sperm whales, and possibly killer whales. Since sharks prefer warmer waters, researchers believe that ocean water temperature drops associated with the onset of the Ice Age, along with lower sea levels, may have contributed to their extinction. The reduction in the diversity of baleen whales and their shift to polar regions may have reduced the primary food source of megalodon. Megalodon teeth fossils have been found in four places worldwide, Europe, East Asia, the Americas, the Caribbean, and Oceania, indicating that, like some modern shark species, it must have had a global distribution. To date, the cause of its extinction remains unclear. However, its existence during the Miocene and Pleistocene epochs largely coincides with the time of seabirds with a 7-meter wingspan, suggesting that their disappearance may be related to the scarcity of megalodon's prey, particularly large fish. One potential cause of the megalodon's extinction is the great white shark. Great white sharks have existed on Earth for 6 million years. Initially, they only thrived in the Pacific Ocean, but after 2 million years, they developed and appeared worldwide. As they moved across the oceans, great white sharks must have strayed into Megalodon's territory numerous times, and if they faced off, the great white shark had no chance against the Megalodon. However, they would only target young Megalodons. Also, due to their larger numbers, great white sharks hunted the prey of the giant Megalodons. As prey numbers dwindled, the Megalodon population gradually decreased, and then the great white shark rose to the top of the food chain. This is a plausible hypothesis, but the debate over the megalodon's extinction story is unlikely to end here. A shark researcher at National Geographic does not believe that the great white shark alone 
could have driven the Megalodon to extinction. If they never went extinct, they would certainly not live in the Mariana Trench, as many speculate. This is because this prehistoric shark species disliked cold waters. Scientific evidence from Megalodon shows they preferred warmer, hotter waters and would have inhabited areas abundant with large prey necessary to sustain their population. If these predators appeared, they could ruin human beach vacations. However, if they detected you swimming in the ocean, they would not attack immediately. This is because the size of humans is too small compared to them. Megalodon sharks are colossal, at least 16 meters long. Scientists estimate that this giant shark species needed to consume at least 1,200 kg of fish per day to meet its calorie requirements. They might attack marine mammals like whales and dolphins, so humans would definitely not be their preferred target. Each megalodon tooth is as big as your hand. Unlike humans, this shark species could continuously generate new teeth every week or two. Throughout its life, it could replace its teeth up to 40,000 times. Scientists believe the megalodon had a lifespan of up to 100 years. Like any other creature, explorers are still searching for clues suggesting that megalodon might have only recently disappeared or even still exists. At the end of the 19th century, the oceanographic ship Challenger surfaced from the depths of the Pacific with teeth measuring 12.5 cm, larger than the average 7.5 cm. Marine biologist David Ruckshaw mentioned several sightings of large great white sharks off the coast of Australia. In May 1939, during a discussion in the Sydney press about the shark's size, Captain Chess saw a large shark offshore. For half an hour, this shark stayed within three meters of the boat, giving him plenty of opportunities to observe it. It was not a basking shark, but a white or sun-basking type, extending further beyond the boat's sides than a great white shark. Discovery Channel aired a documentary in August 2013 titled Megalodon, The Monster Shark Lives, to provide evidence of the Megalodon's contemporary existence. Notably, Hubert's photograph with a shark fin in the background, nearly 20 meters away. However, it was revealed that the photo was fabricated because it was created from a film frame where the fin did not appear. When asked if the Megalodon still exists, the fossil collection curator of the museum flatly denied it. No, if a large animal like the megalodon still lived in the oceans, we would definitely know about it. Indeed, these sharks would leave significant bite marks on other large marine animals, and their giant teeth would continue to be scattered on the ocean floor in tens of thousands. Not to mention, as a warm water species, megalodon could not survive in deep cold waters, and in warmer ocean regions, they would be more likely to be noticed. Research on the megalodon continues today, as scientists are still investigating its exact existence and extinction causes. Who knows, perhaps in the vast ocean depths, prehistoric megalodon individuals still exist. Do you think the megalodon shark still exists today? Share your thoughts, and maybe we'll have a part two. If you find this interesting, share it with a friend.